So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0015 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0015 code? Well, it's a B camshaft position timing over retarded bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer seen an issue with the timing and the B stands for the exhaust side. And bank one is always the side with the number one cylinder. So if you have a four cylinder, it wouldn't matter. But if you have a V6 or a V8, then you'd want to locate the number one cylinder. And that's the side that it's seen the issue with. And some of the possible causes can be low or dirty engine oil, a faulty variable valve timing solenoid, the timing belt, or possibly timing chain. It could be inside the wiring, like a loose connection or an open or a short, and possibly a camshaft position sensor. And so a common cause of this is going to be the variable valve timing solenoid. And oil flows through this variable valve timing solenoid. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to go check the engine oil. Be sure it's not low. Be sure it's not super dirty because low engine oil or bad dirty engine oil could clog up that solenoid and cause it not to work correctly and could throw out this air code. So first thing to do, go check the engine oil. And so if that looks good, then the next thing to do is to Google on your engine where the variable valve timing solenoid is. And you're going to want to find the exhaust one since there's going to be an intake and an exhaust one. And there can be some differences in engines. So you're going to have to Google it to figure out exactly what's going on. But this is going to be the next thing to look at is the variable valve timing solenoid. And so the first thing to do is to check out the wiring that's plugged into it. Be sure the wiring is good. Be sure it's all the, the harness is all the way in, things like this. Because anything bad in the wiring, an open, a short, anything like this, is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid. So you want to check out the wiring and be sure that all looks good. And if that all looks good, the next step is going to be the test the variable valve timing solenoid. And most people would just go and swap it out since it's a low cost part, but you can also test it. There's YouTube videos on that if you want to. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea how much they're costing right now. And they're ranging around $50, $22 there. They're not super high, high cost parts or nothing like that. But the next step is to either test it and be sure that variable valve timing solenoid is good or just replace it. So if you did all that and you checked all that and you know that that's all good and you're still getting this error code, the next thing is go ahead and check the cam position sensor. Again, you'd want to check the wiring and be sure there's no opens or shorts that's connected good and you can test it or replace it. This is also a low cost part, so many people would just go ahead and replace it, but however you want to do it, the next thing to check would be the camshaft position sensor and be sure that's all working correctly. And if you've done all that and all that tests good or you replaced them and you checked all that and you know that's all good, then check the timing belt because it's possible it could have slipped a notch and it's throwing things off or it could have stretched a little bit. It just become aged. So it's just throwing off all the timing. So this error code is happening. And while it's usually one of the other things, the timing belt can also cause this issue. So the next thing to check would be the timing belt. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0015 code? Well, first thing to do, check the engine oil. Be sure that's good. Be sure it's not low or dirty or anything like this. If that all looks good, then to Google the variable valve timing solenoid on your particular engine. You'll want the exhaust one. Locate it. Go and check out the wiring harness. Be sure this wiring harness is all good and that's no issues there. Check for any blowing fuses since this could be on a fuse. If that all looks good, go ahead and test or replace this variable valve timing solenoid. If that's all good, then test or replace the camshaft position sensor. Again, it'll be the exhaust one. Check the wiring, be sure it's good going to that. And if that all looks good and that doesn't solve the problem, then check the timing belt because the timing belt might be stretched or it might have slipped a knot. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing the Toyota with the P0015 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.